All right, hi you guys. Um, I hope you're all doing well and I hope you're not getting cabin fever like I am. Um, I'm kind of over online school and I'm ready to get out there, but I totally understand why this is important. Um, so I'm not at all saying it's not, but um, definitely miss being outside, definitely miss being at school. So hopefully we can come back together soon. I'm so hoping. Um, I don't really have any updates this week. Um, if you guys are interested, again, Miss Perry puts out her blog Monday, Wednesday, Friday. You can check that out. Um, and um, be sure that you're actually checking in with your teachers because attendance is being taken, right? So make sure if you can't turn in assignments, you're at least emailing them and letting them know you're, you're around. Um, for me, not much is going on. This week was kind of crazy and hectic. I think now that we're in the norm, the new norm is gonna be this way for a while. Um, I feel like I've, I haven't worked harder in my life. Um, it is tough to get used to this, but I'm, we're doing it, we're pushing through. Um, and I'm learning a lot, so it's pretty good. Um, let me know how you guys are doing. I love hearing from you. So I miss you guys a lot. Um, just let me know what's going on in your world, um, especially since we're getting so close to the end of senior year. Um, just what's due this week is going to be like two and a half assignments. Um, I say a half because one of them is you have two weeks to do it. So, um, I'll go through kind of the order of what I want you guys to do them in because we are ending the respiratory system unit. So kind of crazy. We covered an entire unit on, um, distance learning. So, um, the first assignment is going to be a quiz. So typically I give you guys quizzes, right? And it's all made and you guys just take it, turn it in and I grade it. Um, this time I want you guys to construct the quiz. So you're gonna construct your own quiz, um, but I have a couple rules for the, this quiz. So I do want you guys to think about, sorry, I'm gonna lower that camera. Um, I do um, have like a, a how-to document that'll be posted with the assignment. So do look at that document because that's how I'm grading you. So it's almost like a rubric, I guess, um, as to like how you're gonna meet my expectations. So um, the quiz, again, 10 questions. It can Your 10 questions can take the form of what you want. So um, it can be multiple choice. Um, if it is multiple choice, just think about, they can't be like the easiest questions in the world. So um, you're trying to like think about testing somebody's ability to learn something. So what did we learn? Um, so I am gonna be looking at the difficulty of your questions. I'll be taking that in, into consideration when grading them. Um, but I don't want them to be so difficult that like no one will be able to answer them. So it should be in our notes somewhere. It should be something that we talked about. Um, when you make your choices in the multiple choice, they have to do with what your question is asking. So if you're asking a question about like the trachea, your options should have to do with the trachea. It shouldn't have to do with like the digestive system, for example. So um, make sure your answers could be answers, like all answers could maybe be possible. You're not trying to like trick them completely, but you don't want the answer to be so obvious. I was like, oh, duh, there it is. Um, and you can do short answers. So you guys have seen my short answers as case studies. That's more than welcome. Um, just be sure that it's like pertinent to what we're, like what we've talked about and that you're quizzing on the respiratory system. Um, and then they could be like matching, true, false, or a combo of all of these, that's absolutely fine. Um, the only thing I'm gonna say you cannot do is that diagram that we went over. So you can't just kind of slap that diagram down and give a word bank and call it good. Um, if you do the diagram, I'm gonna limit two questions to that diagram. So um, kind of similar to the blood typing quiz, I think it was the blood typing quiz, some circulatory system quiz we took. Um, I gave you guys like the test tubes and I asked two questions about them and that was good. So I'm gonna limit, if you guys do use a diagram, you can, two questions max. Um, so that is about it for the quiz. Um, actually, when you're doing the quiz, I need your key. So I need, I'm like making sure you guys know the information, right? So um, it can, again, take the form that you want. So it doesn't have to be like on a Google doc. It can be, um, like by or it can be written in the form of um a google form or a kahoot um but if you have those just please give me your answer key with it i don't care if it's like a, an attachment or whatever it is in the post but as long as i have the quiz and answer key i won't be able to grade it without your answer key so um 
make sure you have both. Make sure if you do end up doing a doc, just highlight your answers or type in your answers, whatever questions you end up doing. Um, just make sure those are there. So that's your first assignment is that quiz. The second assignment is going to be digestive system notes. I'm not going to lie, guys. These are a little bit lengthier than I thought they'd be. Um, they're not like longer than anything we've done before, but it's just a little more than I wanted to this week. Um, so it's going to be kind of the same layout as the respiratory system notes. So you're just going to follow along. I tried to, I constructed these myself. So I'm like, I tried to follow it with like the respiratory system. I had Miss Taylor's PowerPoint last time and it was really easy to follow along. So um, I constructed these. If you guys are having trouble like following along, please email me. Let me know. I can help you out, get you back on track. Um, at the end is a diagram. So it's going to be the same thing. You guys can like type below like A is, B is, C is, or you, if you're fancy and like can do text boxes and label it that's fine too um, there's a video to go along with it this week's is much shorter um, I didn't want to spend too much time other than like actually labeling because you guys are gonna get a lot of information from the PowerPoint itself so um, it's I think it's like five minutes max um, but do make sure you're listening to it because I kind of break down how like a quiz would look um, in the future so make sure you watch that fight it's a quick five-minute video about labeling um, and then get that label to get those notes turned in. So remember, I will return your notes if you don't have the diagram labeled. So please make sure everything's complete before you uh, turn it in. Um, so those are the two assignments that are gonna be due on Sunday, April 12th. So Sunday, April 12th, those two assignments are due. Um, I'm also gonna post a web quest, so a third assignment. This is the two, this is the half assignment. So this is gonna be, you have two weeks to finish this assignment. Um, it's gonna be a web quest. So you just follow the directions and fill out the answers. Um, the last section of that web quest does need to be done in complete sentences, it says it. Um, so do notice um, in the web quest that there are links that it'll give you. So you're gonna, um, follow the links. You can only use Firefox for it because it needs Adobe Flash. So these do need Adobe Flash. Um, I will know if you didn't watch this video because you're going to email me and say, I don't know how to, like my Adobe Flash isn't working on Chrome or Safari, whatever you guys use, make sure it is um, Firefox and you're going to probably have to hit run Adobe Flash. That's fine. Um, so there's a link that you'll start out with. You'll answer about five questions. Then you'll hit play and pause, you'll go to interactive mode, and then you'll answer like 10 questions, a little more than that, um, like 15 questions. You'll take a short quiz and answer or like write the correct answers below. Um, and then the last part, you're going to go to another, um, like a, it's like an article that you'll read about like surprising facts on the digestive system and you'll fill out those. So those last, I think it's one, two, three, four, five questions. Um, are the short answer questions it should be it should be like no more than a sentence or two all right so that assignment's going to be due um on april 19th so april 19th is when that assignment will be due um if you guys have any questions so again two weeks for that assignment if you guys have any questions please feel free to email me um, I'm by my email all the time remember my office hours are 12 to 2 on wednesdays um i'm going to it'll be the same link um but i would like for you to email me if you want to use office hours so if you're planning on joining then email me because typically like in the first hour if no one um shows up then i'll just close out um but if you like need the office hours and say you're coming around like 1 30 just like shoot me a quick email like hey miss snyder like jump back on I'm, I'm going on and i will jump on um, so if you guys have any questions, let me know. Um, hopefully I hear from some of you guys. It is good to hear from you and I hope you guys have a great week.